there are two butterflies. Not one, but there are two. Can you see this? Oh boy. Look at this. There's one here. And the one that just flew behind me. Oh, she's stuck up there. She'll figure it out. And out she goes. There are two monarchs here right now. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Hi, this is Robbie from Southern California, and I want a garden. I'm trying to garden. And instead of gardening, what am I doing? I am setting up monarchs in their own container. This is a tote, double duty on this. I've got tool put on with the paper binders. See, metal binders that holds a tool in place. When I wanna get in there, I just undo these three. I can leave this one that's there and this one and all along the back. I can leave that since I've got one that's doing its thing there. And in the meantime, I've got a jar with water paper towel stuffed in it so nobody can get in. You know, he's eating away. I've got a glass measuring cup full of sand, which is also wet, holding more milkweed. And now I have to come in every day and, well, I've got to put the milkweed in there. That's just rocks and it's holding a little glass that is a spice jar in there. So I got a spice jar in that. There is about, I don't remember, four or five, I'm not sure. This is just an extra top I made, and it's just double protection, that's all. So it's going to hold the tool in place that's draped over it. They'll get a little bit of sun in the afternoon, but that's it. I can always throw a, a flag or something on top, but I think they're pretty good. And now we wait. In the meantime, this one has been pretty much eaten to nothing. But the nice thing about this milkweed is it will grow back quite quickly. Look at this. So this one will start to come back. I've got watermelon starting to grow. I can probably get the potatoes out. This is a bucket of potatoes growing in here. I'll put something else in here. And I've got that, which is a two system compost in place. It's full of worms. I just looked, so that is really good. So now this is open again, open to the public. No, it's open to the butterflies to come in. As you just saw, two monarchs came in. That's basically the update on this. This is not what I wanted. The problem is they ate that plant, so I can't just tool that. And if I tool that one, they're going to eat. Well, it's harder to tool that. I would have to tool the whole thing. And then, yes, it will stop the butterflies that's feeding because they do both. They come on milkweed and milkweed, they feed on the flowers and then they also lay their eggs. Now, of course, monarchs, like other butterflies, have flowers that they feed on and not lay. So I can have a lot of flowers around here, as you know, I do, salvias and all different types. But in the meantime, they come here, they feed, and then they lay. So maybe for now, this will bush up really big. I'm not sure if that will bush up big with three watermelon plants growing in there as well, but I'll change out the potatoes. I'll put a different bucket in there. I've got a way of doing things to make it maybe grow. Oh, I've got another monarch behind me. Look at this. There's one on the other side. Now there's one here. There was a caterpillar on there the other day and now I don't see it. So it may have been eaten. See, she's laying eggs. She just laid them. She, they're that quick. They lay one egg on the leaf. They'll go deep inside the plant. She went on the other side since I'm here. So I've got one feeding on the other side somewhere. Oh yeah, there it is. They're both there. They're both there right now. So I've got one feeding and one laying eggs. And look, she's looking around. You know why she's looking there? Because there's milkweed in that toad over there. She can sense it. Boy, can they sense this milkweed. I have seen them come in here when the milkweed is very small and they'll come and fly and fly. It could take 30 minutes till they find the smallest little milkweed plant. See, she's searching because she knows there's another one. Now there's no leaves on there. So she laid anyways. She is, she knows. Can you see that? She did already. She laid an egg on the stem. Why did she lay on a stem without leaves? Because they know that by the time that egg hatches, within two weeks, that thing will be bursting into leaves. So they know. They know their babies, their caterpillars go in there, wipe the plant clean, and then right away, milkweed grows right back. But now I can have a little more control by putting the milkweed that I want in that tote that I was going to use for propagating plants. 
And then this, these two I'll leave. And hopefully that's enough because I can't collect them all. There's like hundreds in here and there's no way. And like I said, if I, when I leave the caterpillars, they disappear. So I'd have to really look and then selectively pick a few here and there and then throw them in the tote for now. Can you see this? She's just flying all around me. Oh, see there. Now she's feeding on a mustard flower right now. That's purple mustard. And on that, they'll feed. So keep in mind, if you've got monarchs around, they will still come in and feed on your regular flowers. This is flower of choice, but they will feed on all flowers. Most flowers, I should say. But this is what attracts them. This particular milkweed here in Southern California is one of the biggest attractions for them. I've had multiple types. There's another monarch over there. Oh my gosh, I don't know how many there are flying around me. Look at this, another one. This is beautiful. Beautiful, but I want a garden. I've got the hummingbirds going, and they're coming in more and more by the hundreds every day. So there's quite a few thousand, because last night I filled all the feeders, and I couldn't believe how fast they were empty. Like, really fast. Remember I said, oh, they're gone. Oh, look. She's checking the flowers out on the red vein sorrel. Oh, I haven't seen that before. They're tiny, tiny flowers, but there's something there that this butterfly wants. Look at that. Can you see that? They're very tiny little red flowers. So that one is feeding and the other one was laying eggs and she'll probably go there if it's a female. Go there and lay eggs there. It could be a male. I can't tell the difference. I don't remember. I actually knew and I don't remember how, but look at that. I think some of you that know your butterflies are screaming, I know, I know. Good, then tell me underneath. Is this a male or a female? Look at that. Feeding, just carefully feeding on the flower. On the red vein sorrel. That's a first. Here comes the other butterfly on the other side. So there's multiple monarchs here. Oh, my yard is full of monarchs. Aren't they gorgeous? Aren't they beautiful? All right, so I thought I'd give an update. Like I said, this wasn't in my plans. My plans are gardening and the hummingbirds. That's all I can really do. I don't want to breed butterflies. As soon as I see any come out and emerge, I will just open the top and let them go. I, this is gorgeous. I haven't seen this. So if you've got questions, you know if this is a male or what. It, oh, it looks like it wants to lay eggs. No, 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 it's not. It's not. Look at that. I didn't, you know, it's a shame. I cut one off yesterday. Look, I thought, well, I don't want it to flower because I get this growing everywhere, though I do use it and put it in my green drink because I know it's got a lot of nutrition. I cut one spike off. Now that I know they feed on it, I'll go ahead and leave the rest because I was going to cut them all off yesterday and I didn't get to it and compost it because I'm working on my totes here. All right. So I thought I'd give you an update. Hope you enjoyed this. If you know if that was a male or female, go ahead and tell us underneath in the comments. And I've been doing other videos on these. So you can go back if you want and check those out. So if you like this, like and subscribe. Hey, like and subscribe anyways. So with that, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. And boy, are we. I am really excited. This little plant looked like it was dying the other day. It's coming back. And look at this. Oh my. Bye-bye. It seems like every time I look at this video to get it up, there's another chrysalis hanging from the tool. It's unbelievable. This is not what I planned on doing. But for now, as they turn into beautiful monarchs, I will just open the top and let them go. And I'll try to save as many caterpillars as I can. Keep putting in that milkweed and, well, maybe I'll have more than a dozen flying around. Maybe I'll have hundreds. Oh no, I've got the hummingbirds. I don't need any more. Oh boy.